anybody talking about it uh, except a few people. And that is just the nature of the climate right now. Uh, you know, going to South Carolina a couple days ago, uh, the day before yesterday, seeing it 75 degrees in January, middle of January, uh, it's frankly terrifying. It is frankly terrifying. And it's just something to me about this moment of watching it 75 degrees in January, watching it be 70 degrees in upstate New York in December. There's something about it that um, brings it home to me what we're really fighting for. And brings home to me the seriousness of the times, just how serious things are. I really feel bad for the kids. I do, you know don't realize just what's been lost. You know, I'll say this. Um, you talk about Trump, talking about buying Greenland and all that. I think we all understand why now. You know, they're going to build resorts in Alaska pretty soon. They're gonna, they probably will. I mean, it's just, it's just, and I guess it's just sad to wake up and realize that I'm surrounded by morons who never really cared anyway. And for them, climate change research was all about cow farts and just making fun of science. And that to me, um, it makes me angry. Cause I, you know, I see people out here protesting in, in, in London and stuff, and we get mad at them. And people out there in the streets chaining themselves up and beating them up. I ain't got the balls to step out there and sit in front of the traffic. I don't. I'll be frank. I don't have the balls to do it. it. Ain't about me disagreeing with them. I. I I look at these climate extinction people and I'm filled with joy, I'm filled with pride because it's pride but it's also sad because this generation gets it. But then it's sad because it's so obvious to anybody with half a brain cell in their head that something is very wrong. But it's sad also realizing that, you know, for these people that I'm living and dealing with and working around, that they don't care about any of this stuff. And it's like my grandfather went to the hospital, you know. I was talking, uh, I remember having a conversation. And him telling me that when they were in the that room, he said, I'm just doing what I can. White people let me home. White people let me go home. And, and that, you know, that kind of shocked me. And, you know, it, it, it kind of made me step back a little bit. Like, oh, you know, I'm like, it's back in the 80s, late 80s when he said that. But it's making a point that that's to me conservatives. They never cared. This is a, they've always been liars. And it's more clear to me now the Republican Party are hostage takers. It's just, it's just that now I guess I realize that these are the guys that will shoot the hostage. You know what I mean? It's like the police, they dealing with hostage takers like, all right, you know, goodwill and all that. And you realize and finally that these are the people, they will kill. They will kill. And it don't mean nothing. And they, they, everything they do is just a means to an end. It's sad realizing devil one that you're watching 75 degree temps in January and December in upstate New York and places like that. You're watching the waters off the coast of Florida 90 degrees. You're watching wildfires in Siberia and you're still denying what you see. You're still denying reality. And then also the reality, I guess I never thought about it that this morning I was thinking about it that I guess climate change for some region is a good thing. Short term it is. Yeah, like Wisconsin and all that, 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 that it's happening, you've denied it, but then now, you know, you're choosing to just uh, come up with ways to, you know what I mean? It's like, can Republicans be this stupid? 1984, George Orwell talked about double think, which is holding two thoughts in your mind at the same thing, at the same time. So climate change isn't real, but then if it is real, well, it's, it's good for us living in Wisconsin and Pennsylvania. Uh, um, it's a double thing, you see? It's, it's, um, COVID isn't real, but if it is real, it's China's fault and the Democrats created it. It's a double thing. And you just, oh, that's that's how I know. That's not professors and stuff. This is people that I respect. But that's how I know that the Republican Party is a cult. You know? This is, this is a cult. These are not people that are, um, you know, these are not 
people operating upon good faith and good conscience and, and a reasonable sound mind, these are people who um, are in a cult. Point blank period, they're in a cult. And, uh, you know, to me that is uh, kind of sad to understand that and realize that. It's kind of sad. The devil won. As I said to the kids, you know, I think about it how if you knew what these what these what these quackers were throwing, if you knew these quackers were pouring your dreams down the river and the chances for your future down the river, you you would be out in the streets too. That's what I said. If you understood, and young people don't, and young you don't, you know, especially if you're living good, you just you just think I just go to Walmart and get my food. <laughs> I'll just, you know, I can just go and get whatever I need from Amazon. You don't realize that all these things are connected and that if these other countries get messed up, it will affect our economies too. They don't, you know, you're young, you don't get that. You don't, because you just, especially now, because internet Amazon was a kid and the internet wasn't as, it wasn't as fast and good as it is now, you know. And, and, you know, you have computers on your phone that are faster than a computer out on the board. It's different, it's different. But it's also good too that kids, if they want to learn these things, they go online, like the stuff's out here. It's not like hidden or anything. It's not, you know, we're not, it, 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 the information's out there for you. And, um, and I think the IPCC is um, not right, as serious as they should. They, I, I think that these climate things they put out are not quite telling the whole story. That's my opinion. It's my, 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 my opinion. But uh, it's the devil won. The devil won. And to the young people, we let you down. I, 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 I am 110 percent on that. We let you down, and I say it. Um, you know, <clears throat> and this will lead to more storms, more stronger hurricanes because the waters are warmer. This will lead to more pandemics because of the migration and all that kind of stuff. This will lead to, you know, more problems. And the fact that. I guess I'm just realizing that I'm dealing with a cult of people who don't care about reality and they only care about making up bullshit to continue their way of life. I gotta tell you, if you're living a way of life that's destructive and harmful and you know it and you don't care, you're the bad guy. And like people are telling you this stuff is bad and you're still doing it, you're the bad guy. It's like if you're making meth and you're living in a barber comic, people are telling you like, hey, I have kids here and stuff. Don't do it. You're like, yep, I'm making money doing it, though. And the money's good. I've been doing it. Like, that's, that, you're the bad guy. Like, you, you know what I mean? You can, you can pull whatever religion you want at you behind. It, it, it's, it's sad to me. You know, and, and I just, I said before, I'm saying you're ending with this. There will be a collapsed president. I don't know when. He's going to have to make some tough choices. I don't know what they'll be. But he will have to make tough choices. And people won't like it. And I just thought about it earlier. I was like, people are gonna be like, it was so much better back in 2023. No, it wasn't. It was so much better back in 2024. No, it wasn't. People like me knew about this stuff back then. No, it wasn't better, you dumbass. Republicans are always about changing history. They're always changing history and, and oh well, things slave wasn't that bad and oh this is bad. They're always doing it. I'm here to tell you, people like me recognize the seriousness of the moment. We recognize what 75 degrees temps in January, in the middle of January mean. We recognize it. And it's different. I'm a trucker and I'm traveling and stuff. So I, I'm able to see more of it. I'm able to kind of tell like, hey, you know, uh, I have to move my job. Get ahead of the weather, you know, sometimes. But, um, there's nothing I was going to say to people who uh, believe that climate change is good for their regions. Let me clear about this. Michigan stays locked up in the Great Lakes. Now, if the climate change continues, your fall will be way worse than the lake effect because the lakes will not be able to freeze over. This is real talk here. Climate change will make a lot of things much more dangerous. They're saying the turbulence is getting worse on planes now. Anybody said that climate change, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, this is shit. 
I don't tire of this shit. So eerie. I'm sorry. But, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm being very, very clear about it, dude. Anybody saying it'll be good is looking at a very, very short term perspective. Um, I just hope that, I hope young people realize, and I, I worry that they're going to become more right wing because in the future, legal immigration will get worse. See, right now you deal with who want to leave. You ain't dealing with who have to. You're going to have areas that become uninhabitable. So that will push migration. You're going to be shooting people and stuff on the board. You're going to have to. And that's my fear that become more right wing because of that. My hope is that they become more left or that there's a, a portion of the young people that realize Republicans have always been wrong. They've always been the party of liars. They've always been the party of deception. They've always been the party of teaming up in gangs and making things ugly and operating through confusion. That's their game. You can't, you know what I mean? You're not gonna have a multicultural fascist. You're not gonna have an Indian fascist. You might want one, but that's not gonna happen. You know, I, I, I just hope that they, you don't have to be a Democrat. Not, you know, I'm certainly not sitting here, you know, Lord lionizing Democrats. But I just hope the young people realize you've been lied to. You've been cheated. And um, and the devil won.